You're an a-hole. No, that's not me. Hope you die. Neither this one. To know who I am, we have to go back to just a few months ago. Hello, everybody. I'm the rubber. Today, we bring you what happens if you create the cure for all diseases, but it's actually terrible. A few months ago. And that's how compound 45-VE, also called BOPI, can eradicate every known disease using an amalgam of chemical products we discovered. That right there was the beginning of my speech on public TV that was aired to the whole planet. A cure for everything, they called it. And I was treated as a messiah, as the savior of the new world. And it was indeed a new world to be enjoyed by all kinds of people, since BOPI was affordable for any social class. It was a hard fight against the government that wanted BOPI to cost millions of dollars, but we decided to escape and give it for free rather than that. After some paperwork, we managed to release BOPI to the public. The problem? It was a success. Soon they started to complain about the taste of the medicine. I mean, it is made with herbs that may have a little, well, a stinky odor, but wouldn't you prefer that before having AIDS or cancer? Suddenly, the media made a public opinion, something about a cure worse than the disease. And I was thinking, is this for real? I mean, it is a medical miracle, the biggest invention in history. Maybe, and they are complaining about the taste? People started to make ugly comparisons, saying that boppy was like swallowing dirty toilet paper mixed with spoiled milk. I know it wasn't a pleasant taste, but if we change the taste or fragrance, it will lose many of its properties. We did many tests, we really tried to improve its flavor, but they were all unsuccessful. Everyone was saying that the whole boppy thing was a government conspiracy to take money from us, with boppy being a placebo even after many public results of its efficacy. But people believe everything that appears on the internet, and I received the worst treatment. Insults, humiliations, threats, intimidations, everything, just for being a good person. I remember one of the cases in a hospital of a woman that healed from a lung disease. She was pleased with the results, but after the pressure of her daughter on hating the medicine, she turned her head around and was part of the hatred mob. But I decided to counterattack. I contacted a popular TV program to expose to the whole world on their stupidity. The interview went like this. So, doctor, you're telling me that boppy doesn't have fish parts in its fungus. Boppy doesn't have either fish or fungus. Correct, correct. Now, what do you want to say to the whole world about your take on the matter? People hates cure. Honestly, my friend, I think that people are stupid and they cut me. Yes, just like that, they cut off my part in the interview. They said it was for technical problems, but I know the truth. I know this whole trend of boppy makes news even richer to exploit, and if something changes, many will lose attention. So I was screwed on any sides. If I thought it couldn't be worse, it's because I didn't know something like Condor could exist. Well, I think it started as a joke, a punchline for boppy, but it was true. It was a medicine that literally did nothing to the people. Maybe could help them with an easy cold, Still, it broke the market just because it tasted like heaven. I didn't even invent that phrase. It was its freaking slogan. Unlike others, it tastes like heaven. How couldn't anyone see that it was a direct attack to me? I remember that the creators were two boys that looked like anything but doctors or pharmacists. They were getting richer than any other people in their country. Meanwhile, me, well, I have to hire a cleaner for all the vandalism my house was getting every day. I tried to set a meeting with those guys, and their answer was, in your dreams. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was their actual response in the email. They later told the same program I went to that I was trying to get the real recipe for the cure. That part was actually stupid, since they should be the ones that have to be looking for an actual cure if they genuinely want to save someone. The only positive thing is that the death rate has lowered in many countries. Some doctors may be on my side, or well, kinda, since some pages were saying about doctors that give boppy to the people just for fun, knowing how terrible it tasted. Still, I shouldn't have so much confidence in that. In the end, one person was on my side. My little son was cured thanks to boppy. At first, he didn't want to take the medicine, but when I told him about the possible consequences, he didn't blink twice before taking the full dose. I was proud and happy. And that's not the only case. One of his classmates, a little girl called Micah, she came to me to say thanks. Apparently, her father was sick, but after taking Boppy, well, he hated it, but the entire family was happy to see him walking normally. Isn't that the main reason for the medical research? To make other Micah's dads feel good? Thank you for making this magical medicine. When I grow up, I want to be like you, no matter what people say. Those words filled my heart. 
I was attacked for not making a cure for traffic accidents, and Boppy doesn't make you prettier or younger. It was just a thing that I felt it was necessary to make, no matter the repercussions. I want to think that without Boppy, many lives wouldn't be here anymore. Even if I can't go to the streets just for a bagel without getting bombed with paint or trash, I feel like I'm a savior. But for my luck, I got a cold. And before getting worse, my wife made me take Boppy. So here I am, about to take it. Well, the smell is not that ugh, bad. Oh God, this tastes like molten garbage inside a dead cow on a very hot day. Maybe, just maybe, I made a terrible mistake. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have you ever heard or encountered any paranormal event? Let us know in the comment below. We will draw your story and share it with the world. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.